hi everybody thank you for watching so here is my cvs haul for this week so i haven't done a large haul like this in a while there's so many amazing deals this week so i will go over the breakdown of each deal let you know how much i paid and also show you on my receipt so the first deal that i did was the l'oreal so they are two for eight and when you buy two you get a four dollar extra buck so i did purchase two of them it came to eight dollars I had a 3 for 2 manufacturer coupon that expired on Sunday, but I was able to use that. I also had a 3 for 3 CRT, so I did buy some Garnier, so I just put it in this breakdown. So it worked out to be $2. I got the $4 back. Worked out to be a $2 moneymaker for the L'Oreal. Next, I did the Garnier Whole Blend. So you can do the Garnier Whole Blend or you can do the Fruities. It is the same deal, so you have to choose one. I did the Whole Blend. They are two for six. And when you buy two, you get a $3 extra buck. So I did purchase two of them. It came to $6. I had that $4 off two manufacturer coupon that expired on Sunday. So I paid $2. I got the $3 back. Worked out to be a $1 money maker. So between the two of them with my three off of three CRT, worked out to be a $3 money maker for those two. And they also track for beauty. So amazing deal there. Then I did the Irish Spring deal. So they are two for eight. And when you buy two, you get a $2 extra buck. So I did purchase two of them. It came to $8. I had two $1 digital coupons that came off. And then I also had two two dollar off two crts that i was able to use so i paid two dollars i got the two dollars back work out to be free for those two iris spring which is amazing as well then i did the oral b deal so i was hoping that the digital coupon will glitch but it did not so with the crest and the oral b they are three dollars and 49 cents each when you buy two you get a three dollar extra buck we have a three off of two digital as well as a one dollar digital so i was hoping that they would both glitch but the three of the two was the only one that came off so i did purchase two of them they came to six dollars and 98 cents the three dollar off two digital coupon came off so i paid 3.98 i got the three dollars back work out to be a cost of 98 cents for those ones so i was trying to check with the double dip on the digital, it did not come off. I really wish I just purchased two toothbrushes because I have so many toothpaste. So I will show you on my receipt just those. So here you can see the whole blend, the L'Oreal, the Irish Spring, and the Oral-B and Crest. There is my $3 coupon for the L'Oreal, $4 coupon for the whole blend, $3 for the Crescent Oral-B, the two $1 Irish Spring, the three of three hair and nail, and then the two dollar of the Irish Spring. So here I rolled nine dollars, I paid 98 cents, and I got the three dollars back for the Crest, two dollars for the Irish Spring, four dollars for the L'Oreal, and then three dollars for the whole blend. So not a bad deal there. The next deal that I did was on the Colgate. Do check your store because there's three different Colgate deals. So we do have the Max Fresh, which is two for eight ninety eight, and then you get a three dollar extra buck. The Colgate Total, they are spend ten get a five dollar extra buck, and there's some other high value Colgate which is spend fifteen, I believe, and get a five dollar extra buck. So I did the I did two deals because I had a five of a twenty five CRT. So with the Colgate Max Fresh, so they are. Two for seven ninety eight or three ninety nine each. You could do that deal twice, so I did purchase four of them. And then these Colgate total, they are five fifty nine each, so I did purchase two of those. So the way it worked out altogether, it came to twenty seven fourteen. I had three of the two dollar coupons from this week's insert. A four for two digital on the Colgate came off, as well as a three dollar digital. I had the five off of twenty five CRT. So I paid $9.14, I got the $6 back, that was for the two for $7.98, and then $5 back for the other deal. We got to be a $1.86 moneymaker for those. So amazing deal there. I will show you on my receipt, I did do that separately. But I was trying to see if I can utilize four of the $2 coupons. The system, if I use four of those $2 coupons, it would take off the three of the two digital. So I thought I'd just leave it like that. But here is my receipt. So there is all the Colgate Max Fresh, and there's a total. There's my three $2 coupons, my four for two digital, my three for two digital, my five for 25. I rolled $7.31, paid $1.83, and I did get back the basically $11, the $5 and the $6 there. 
So amazing deal there on the Colgate if you have that CRT. Next deal that I did, I just found a clearance. So this rock cleanser is on clearance for $7.74. I had a $6 CRT on any rock. I also had a $3 coupon that did expire on Sunday, but it did go through. So basically that worked out to be free overall because the $3 manufacturer coupon came off and then the $6 crt did lower down but then this also tracks for beauty so interesting to try that one out then i did a few lotion deals so the vaseline they are spend 12 get a four dollar extra buck and then the nivea is buy two get a five dollar extra buck i did combine them together because i had a four for 20 crt so basically with the nivea they are 6.29 each so i did purchase two of them that came to 12 dollars and 58 cents with the vaseline the smaller one is 4.99 and then the larger one is eight dollars and 79 cents so for the two of them it came to 13.78 so for all four of them it did come to 26.36 I had a $3 manufacturer coupon of two for the Nivea, and then I also had a three for two for the Vaseline. I did print that a long time ago. It did expire, but my store allows expired coupons. And then I had a four for 20 CRT on any lotion. So I paid $16.36. I got $9 back in extra bucks, $4 for the Vaseline, $5 for the Nivea. Worked out to be a cost of $7.36. And then I did submit on Ibotta for the Nivea. I got two lots of 75 cents so i did get a dollar 50 back work out to be a cost of 586 or a dollar and 46 each so a bit of a cost there but that is 26 tracking and beauty and i'm actually low on lotion so if you watch my other video my sister-in-law came in and cleared me out of lotion so i am trying to stock up again on that one i also got some hallmark here so i had two crts two four of eight crts so i did purchase three of these bows and ribbons they are 129 each and then to get to my eight i did get two of the bags so my store only had two of these if they had more i would have probably got some different items but i did get eight items here it came to eight dollars and 72 cents and then I used two of those $4 CRTs. So I basically paid 72 cents just for those there. So I did that on one receipt. So here you can see there's the Vaseline, the Nivea, the Vaseline, and there's all of my Hallmark. So I have the two $3 coupons, one for the Nivea, one for the Vaseline. There's my four for 20 CRT for lotion, and then my other two CRTs for Hallmark. Then this one I did roll $17. I paid zero, but I did get back $9, and those do track for beauty. Next deal that I did was the spend 40, get 10. So what I did was I purchased the Tide, the Downy, and then the U by Kotex. So the Tide, they are $4.94 each. The Downy Unstoppable, so this is the large one. This is the large 14.8 ounce so they are 11.94 each and then the you buy kotex they are buy one get one 50 percent off and i did purchase four of the liners at my store they are eight dollars and 49 cents each so i did purchase four of them so just for those six items it did come to 42 dollars and 34 cents i had two of the four for two coupons for the kotex that i printed from coupons.com the four for two digital did glitch and come off I had a $3 digital for the Downy and then the $2 for the Tide. I also had a 4 for 16 CRT on any Kotex. So I came to $21.34. I did get the $10 back. Work out to be a cost of $11.34 or $1.89 each. So that's not a bad deal. I am quite stocked up on liners, but I really wanted some unstoppables. The Tide, um, I was trying to get the small unstoppables, uh, but my store was completely out. If that was the case i would have got those i do have a lot of tide but i am very very low on unstoppable so I, I don't mind paying a little bit for those but overall i didn't pay for it because i used extra bucks but i will show you on my receipt i did those separately so here you can see there is the downy for 11.94 the tide for 4.94 and there's the for you by kotex so there's my two four dollars of two coupons from the paper for the kotex there is the four dollar digital that glitch and came off and then i used a three dollar and two dollar digital for the downy and the tide 
There's my 4 for 16 You by Kotex. So something weird, um, when I did give him $20 in extra bucks, it was lowering one of the extra bucks to $7. So I, I don't know what happened there, why it did that. So I don't know if it clashed with the coupons, but I ended up just giving him 17 and I paid $4.44 and I did get back the $10 there. And then the last deal, I did some makeup. So it wasn't the best makeup deal, but I did have extra bucks to burn. And then also it does track for beauty. So overall, I, it works out to be uh, quite a decent deal. So the first deal that I did was the Maybelline. So it's buy two, get a four dollar extra buck. So I got one of these mascaras for eight. 49 and then one of the eyeliners for 494 the only coupon that i had was a two dollar digital off any eye product so i utilized that the other deal is the cover girl so it is buy to get a five dollar extra buck i got the eyebrow pencils they are 649 each and so i used two two dollar fifty coupons that i got in the paper and then another unadvertised deal was these ardell eyelashes so it is spend 10 get a five dollar extra buck so these are $4.99 each, and then I did have a $3 CRT to do that. And so the reason why I did all this is I did have a 7 off a of 35 CRT, so I will show you on my breakdown. So here, all together for all those items, it came to $36.44. I had two of the $2.50 coupons for the CoverGirl, $2 digital for the Maybelline, $3 CRT on the Ardell, and then 7 off a of 35 any cosmetics so it came to 19.44 i did get four dollars back for the maybelline five dollars for the covergirl and then five dollars for the ardell so we got to be a cost of 544 but that is 36 tracking for beauty so if you do incorporate beauty all those will be less than two dollars so i will show you on my receipt here so this one as well i did get the rock so there you can see it was on clearance for 774 there is my maybelline the ardell and the covergirl there is my $3 coupon for the Rock, the $2.50 for the CoverGirl, my $2 for the Maybelline, 7 of a 35 CRT on cosmetics. There's my Rock coupon. It was $6. It did get adjusted down. And my $3 off Ardell Lashes. So I did give him $19 in extra bucks and a few cents. I paid $0.29, cents, but I did get back the 4, the 5, and the 5. And all this does track for beauty. So I think that's everything that I got. Uh, all these items, the sale price would total $177.72. So this was a large haul. So usually most of my hauls are under $100, but this would have cost $177. After coupons, I paid $76.89. I did get back $56 in extra bucks and $1.50 from Ibotta. But then all these items came to about $84 in beauty and I just needed $7 more. So I should get back $9 in beauty bucks. So all together for all these items, it came to $10.48. So I thought that's a pretty good deal. Most of these were freebies or moneymaker. And I basically spurged on my unstoppables and my tide. So the unstoppables alone were $11.94. So if you think about it, if you just look at everything, I would have paid $11.94 for that and got all of these items for free. So this is my CVS haul. I will have another video up possibly tomorrow with my other card. So I am working on only two cards. This is my main card that I get all the CRTs on. My other card... Uh, they've stopped giving me CRTs for a few weeks now, but I was able to do a few deals on there. So I will have a video up tomorrow. It will be smaller, but it worked out to be quite a good deal. And that will be a good newbie friendly video if you wanted to watch that because there are small deals and less coupons. So yeah, here is my CVS haul. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah.